Trendini, what do you want to do? Okay. Hi guys, hope you come here. We are two here with the one and only Mukeshmiwa. Everything from Gatundu. What do you want to do? Look, 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 kwa sababu industry imeanza ku grow na nimeanza kuona tuna make trends we said we must walk the talk hii story ya kushinda tukiambia vijana wajipatie watafute kazi wajiajiri alafu tunawaachilia huko kukichaka tunaenda i was in the live the government must be in sync with what we are saying we must walk the talk na hii serikali tulisema ni ya hustlers na hustlers wenye tulikuwa tunaongea about about siku zema ni mtu mwenye hana form ni mtu mwenye kuna form amekuwa kijaribu kujituma lakini form haingi so mimi nikasema we are telling young, young people to go and employ themselves go out there and make employment employ yourselves and employ other people but in the same time we have a constitution we have a, a, Acts of Parliament. We have uh, statutes that are actively inhibiting young people from making money. We have a provision of the Public Procurement and Disposal Act that has stopped all these young people who are creating content, who are reaching over half, over half a billion people uh, daily or weekly from selling our content. Lazima tuwaje huko watu wa kujificha kwa uongo. Ukweli ni kwamba mambo imeenda digital. Hata system hata form ya ya communication tulitoka Samia back tulisema tumetoa uh, tumetoka analog tumeenda digital. If you look at the reach of digital content vis-a-vis -vis any other form of content ya watu young ambao tunaongea about utapata hakuna mtu anayenanga kuona hizi form zingine kila mtu anapotanga news zake kwa, kwa simu na kwa zile platform ambazo tutuko nazo so i'm saying we must get to that platform and by the way this is not the end of it we, we are going to KICD we are going to Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development we are going to make education digital tunakuja hizi apps zenye watu wengine wanasema zifungwe hizi apps zinaitwa wakina TikTok zenye watu wanasema zifungwe mimi naenda kuziweka kwa KICD itakuwa ni lazima ukitoa curriculum ikitoka app unaweka hapo because iko haja gani sasa hizi unafundisha mtu kuendesha eh, punda ati kwa sababu iko kwa curriculum na hakuna mtu nani anaenda na punda tena So we must move. Squeeze it. You can't driving school. You can't go to driving school. driving school at your automatic. But there are people who will never drive a manual car. A stick shift. So it's the same thing. You can't go to the same thing. I doubt my daughter will ever read the paper. And I have heard people say, oh, you know, this uh, social media is not legitimate. How do you get to know the legitimate truth? I tell them, go bring those amendments, bring those proposals, we shall entrench them in law, these young people must get jobs. Na aguna story ngine, there are not two ways about it. And to kutoka kwa hiyo, kwa, I mean, to mena digital, so we are saying, we must get, na nyingi, digital content creators, I invite you. To watch a corner content is, we have a country to build. And we have a culture to create. To create culture, ya, ya content ambayo ina make sense. By the way, we na tukwa TikTok yako. Uwone zile TikTok kutapatana nazo za places kama India, places kama China. You will realize, kutapata msi, anaone sa vile ya kukavu kitu, anaunda ina kuwapua. You know, some creative technical stuff. We can get there. But we can only get there if we stop vilifying our media content creators. Na tuwa embrace. Atwezi embrace hawa watu kwa kuchukua tax, peke yake. Atwezi zema tax ya ukifanya. 
Kwani sisi tukitisha tax kuna mali tuliuza mtu unafanya content gani? Iko mtu amekuuliza kama ni nywele ulionesha ama ni kiatu ulitengeneza? So mbona ikikuja ati ati content ati juni ya usiku ile ile tax yenye tunaokota kuna mtu anasema uli make pesa usiku ama mchana? Mbona watu wanasema ati usiku kwa content nyingine sijui na kana namna gani? If that content has its users, it is a society that is rotten. So stop blaming the platforms. Go and uh, tell your children wasome by Biblia. Ah watu wa digital content utaona wakianza kukwambia maneno ya Yakubu na Hagai, na Zara na hao wengine na maneno ya Bilishiba. Watakuja hapo. Ukuambia tupeleke watoto maneno ya masomo, utakuja hapo. So I'm saying let us as a leadership embrace digital technology. It is the next frontier. It is a revolution. And if we don't embrace it, we shall be left behind like we have been left behind in many other revolutions in this world. Sasa, mimi sita simama hapa kama mbunge, nione tukiluza a whole generation kwa sababu ya sheria amazo ni tukonia. Kwa hivyo, mimi na wawelcome nini wote watu wa digital content creation, mtu kwa na simu yake na anajua naeza kutengeneza content, akuje. You are most welcome to me. Yesu alisema wacheni watoto wakuja kwangu. Mimi nasema wacheni watu wa media wakuja kwangu. So ina maana mheshimiwa how support uh, kuna nini imetolewa kuwa TikTok live ibaniwe. So you don't support that. Hakuna TikTok live haizi baniwa. TikTok tunaendelea kufanya kazi we shall what we will do. We must be proactive. We must be ahead of the game. Eh see kuna kitu naitwa IA ama artificial intelligence sasa hizi mbona mbona facebook aina hizo si hata facebook inakonga na live mbona facebook live haichomwi mbona hiyo haichomwi mbona hiyo ni mzuri why is it tiktok why are we targeting a certain platform let it be mandatory for that platform na mimi najua rais walikaa na na ule jamaa mwenye hiyo app na wakajadiliana so what you're going to do is just create regulation. And that is not the work of the owners of the platform. It is their duty to, to conform to what we have said as a country. And it is our work as legislators to make laws that must be conformed with. Once we have done that, then we allow this TikTok. Can you imagine burning a whole country from access to TikTok? Do you know how many people you'll be sending home in a country like this that is suffering already? Do you know these are the these are the only employers who are out of this country? We have already killed all the physical employers who are sitting in these countries. Now we want to kill even the ones who are sitting in other countries and offering employment to our youth. How how myopic would we be? How short-sighted of us? We cannot do that. We must allow people to any other app that comes into this country is most welcome. Any other app that is able to reach people and that is interacting with people and the youth and the youth like it and the people who and, and it is not just for the youth. Even my mother, who is uh, now 80, is on TikTok. She's on Facebook. Ako WhatsApp. Sasa, unataka maadhe aja kuona TikTok aenda wapi? Amezeka anakula pesa yake uze pole pole. 